any of you guys are quite new to the vlog, this here is our dog Shiloh. He's actually 13 years old now. He's getting on for a Cocker Spaniel, but uh, he's such a good, lovely dog. Love him to bits, Shiloh. I've always, always, always loved dogs. I like cats as well. We've got a good white cat called Prince, but um, I've always been a dog person. Right, so today I'm going to take my work away from home and go into a coffee shop in Edinburgh and get working from there. I've got a couple of big rants to make today. The first of which is about SoundCloud. Now SoundCloud, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically a platform, a bit like YouTube, where musicians go and, undiscovered musicians, go and put their music for the world to hear. Uh, and it's great, you know, I think it's a good place for people who are undiscovered and they want to put their music out there and it's worked for a lot of people. And it's also great for people like me who make YouTube videos because I can go onto SoundCloud and look for an artist that I like, find their music and speak to the guys and say, listen, you're an artist, I make videos, can I use some of your music on my videos and we'll do a bit of a collaboration. Good for them, good for me. But recently, a lot of networks have popped up and those networks, what they do is they look to profit on SoundCloud users by gathering a lot of them together, signing them up, supposedly, and monetizing their music all over the web. So I've recently contacted a few musicians and said, hey, I like your music, can I use them on my videos? And they said, yeah, no problem. So I've put them on the videos and then, bang, I've been copyrighted on my video because their, their songs have been gathered up, signed up to these networks, which basically all they do is they, they go through places like YouTube and copyright claim all of all the music that's been made by these musicians, even if I have made an agreement with the musician directly. So it's becoming harder and harder. SoundCloud is becoming harder and harder a place for me to go and make and do some collaborations with musicians about using their music on my vlogs. Uh, and that sucks. I think music's quite an important part of making vlogs, so I'm a bit stumped. So if any of you guys know any musicians or you might be a musician yourself, let me know because I need music. Basically, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. And by the way, that is why yesterday's vlog, the last vlog that I posted, the end of it had to be chopped off. The last two minutes of the vlog. Some really nice, beautiful scenery with a really nice song on it. I had to bin it because it got claimed. Alright folks, I'm here at the Arches in Edinburgh, in the Old Town. I wanted to try and find a cafe that wasn't Starbucks or Costa to come do a bit of work. And my mate Gavin, Gavin Bell, Mr. Gavin Bell, vlogged recently about seven cafes in Edinburgh that are independent. Uh, so I'm here at the Arches to try one of them anyway. Let's see how it is. It's a nice sweet cafe that, but a bit too small to get the laptops out and work. And given that everywhere in Edinburgh is absolutely heaving today, I think we'll take the laptops back home and work there. Because we really, really have got quite a lot of stuff on that we need to do. Nice and sunny now. The birds are out singing, the flowers are out. I uh, love spring and summer here in Scotland when the sun's out, especially when the sun's out. Calm down, girls. Right, thought I'd take advantage of this nice weather and take the dogs a wee walk. Got the frisbee, of course, because that's what they love to do. Yeah, it's all slavers. Poor Shiloh as he's getting older is as deaf as a post. Here, come here. I've not even got Tessie, stop whiffing. I'm up here on Craig Miller Castle. Craig Miller Castle Hill. Beautiful part of Edinburgh. 
left, but it's littered with alcohol bottles all over the shop. So actually, that means I'm going to have three different rants today. That is a lot of booze, by the way. Two wine bottles there. There's a vodka bottle over there somewhere. Two more behind me. These people are pigs. Seriously. There's another three there. That's like eight or nine different big massive bottles of alcohol. Anyway, see that there behind me? In that gap? Right there. That is Craig Miller Castle. Mary, Queen of Scots, once lived there. Fun fact for you. Here in Craig Miller Castle Hill. It's a beautiful castle, that. It's at this point I would usually be showing you drone footage. But of course my drone is still in drone hospital and it's getting fixed. And it is getting fixed by the way. The nice people at Jessup's are sending it in for repair for me. In other words, I'm actually going to have to show you some archive footage of Craigmar Castle by drone rather than some fresh footage. And since we're speaking about Mary, Queen of Scots, politics. Politics. Let's talk about politics. There is a lot going on right now. What with the UK voting, France, Germany, Scotland, America. But I think we've got to a point where people are just making noise. People aren't voting. That is the biggest problem. People are talking and they're not voting. I think there needs to be less talk. Less talk less shite and more votes. If you want to change things, it's the only way to do it. Young people need to get out and vote. That is the only thing that matters right now. The absolute abuse that goes on in social media is just not going to do anything. It's not going to achieve anything. It's not going to change anyone's mind. The only thing that can change the outcome of politics nowadays is if young people vote. And that's it. That is my third rant of today. I'm on a roll. Anyway, I'm going to go back inside and get on with work because I've got a lot to do. Okay folks, I've been working all afternoon on a video for my other YouTube channel about Brazil. Go and check it out. I'm speaking Portuguese really badly. Make sure you go and check out that channel if you're interested in Brazil or if you're Brazilian, of course. Uh, Gringo Sean is the name. And the video is about me speaking difficult words like Paralelepipedo and more. Make sure you go and check it out. Alright guys, now in that vlog there wasn't much filming going on because I had a lot of work on so I do apologise for that. But I want to come back to something that I mentioned during the day, Mary Queen of Scots. It's something that a lot of people are interested in when we talk about Scotland and the history of Scotland, royalty, all that kind of stuff. Scotland had its own monarchy. Mary Queen of Scots, she reigned over Scotland for about 25 years in the 1500s and a lot of people have asked me about her on the vlog and interesting story. As I was pointing at Craig Miller Castle earlier on, that is about 500 meters from where I'm currently sitting, where I live. Craig Miller Castle is a beautiful big castle, very well known for its association with Mary Queen of Scots. She visited the castle many times and even lived there for a very short time as well. But she loved the area here, the surrounds of the castle, the grounds down below the valley, which is called Little France. Mary Queen of Scots lived in France for most of her childhood and a lot of people believe that that is why the area is called Little France although not confirmed because there are other theories as to why it's called Little France as well and obviously there's a lot of folklore and stories that go on about her another interesting fact my grandparents owned a campsite on the site of Little France which is just down the road there it no longer exists because there's a hospital there was a tree on the campsite and it was called Mary Queen's Tree which I believe was a sycamore tree and Legend has it, she planted that tree. It stood in the campsite grounds for a long time, but was eventually removed once they built the hospital. I thought it was important to revisit the Mary Queen of Scots thing because a lot of people have asked me, particularly people watching from America, because it's a fascinating story. So yeah, just a bit of fun facts about the area where I live, Craig Miller Castle, which features in this vlog a lot, and drone footage especially, because I go walking there all the time. Not a lot of footage in today's vlog, because basically I've just been really busy, lots going on, work-wise. Uh, so, 
I'm gonna end it right here. I hope you guys have a really great night. There's gonna be more coming up really soon. Live chats, vlogs. Have a good night, guys. Speak soon.